Hello and welcome to my channel. Operator Heavy Rain is the welfare operator of a walk in the dust event. Since she's made available to all players to obtain, is she worth building? Let's find out in this guide. Heavy Rain is a protector defender and this archetype's trait allows her to block three enemies. Operators from this archetype boasts high HP and defense. Looking at her other stats, they are pretty decent. While her redeployment time and DP cost are higher than average, her free potentials will lower them down. Moving on to her talent, Heavy Rain provides nearby operators on elevated platforms and herself a 20% chance to dodge physical attacks. This talent can somewhat improve her survivability. However, as it is completely RNG based, I wouldn't really count on this to keep her alive, an okay talent to have. Next up are her skills. Her first skill grants camouflage to a nearby ally with less than 50% HP and heals them for 70 HP for 4 seconds. Despite Heavy Rain's archetype being protector, she exhibits traits from the guardian archetype. Doing the math, Heavy Rain will be healing the operator for a total of 280 HP, that's not a lot, it's better to use a defender from the guardian archetype for healing. Now, what exactly does camouflage do, when the effect is active? Operators will no longer be targeted by ranged enemies, this is similar to the invisibility effect some enemies have. However, operators will still take environmental damage, an example being stage AP5, as well as splash damage, an example being the senior casters, this effect will only stay active if the camouflaged operator does not block any enemies, this skill can hold a total of 2 charges at mastery 1 and has an SP cost of only 4 at mastery 3, while this skill has its uses at times, her second skill might be the better option for most scenarios, I wouldn't recommend investing too much into this skill. Now, if you think this video is helpful, do give my channel a sub to stay tuned for future content. Moving on to her second skill, Heavy Rain will stop attacking and gets an HP and defense buff, as well as applying camouflage effect to herself and operators in the four surrounding tiles. When this skill is active, her survivability increases dramatically, allowing her to tank most enemies in the game for a decent duration. This skill lasts for 20 seconds and has an SP cost of 40 at mastery 3. As this is a manual trigger skill, you can now control when to deploy the camouflage. This gives you more control as it was locked behind a HP threshold in her first skill. New strategies revolving around the use of camouflage can now be implemented, with an example being the Contingency Contract Stage Windswept Highland, with Heavy Rain's skill 2 camouflaging Chalter here, she can take out the annoying casters the moment they appear without getting hit once. Lastly, we have her module. This module will be released during the Obscure Wanderer event, so Global will have to wait for a while. The first stage updates her trait to blocking 4 enemies now. While it may be a good thing in most scenarios, taking on more enemies means more incoming damage, so you'll have to watch her health and deploy a medic when necessary. Her second and third stages improves her talent, an OK module to activate. So, should you build Heavy Rain? The answer is both yes and not really. Heavy Rain definitely offers something unique with her camouflage, but at the same time, scenarios where camouflage is an indispensable thing to have are really rare, and even if you encounter such a scenario, an Elite 1 Level 1 Heavy Rain with her second skill at Level 1 can fulfill her role just fine, all in all. You don't have to invest too many materials into Heavy Rain to make use of her kit, unless of course, you want her Elite 2 art or are planning to use her to tank enemies in stages. And that is all for this operator guide. I will be making similar videos in the future so do consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.